Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with one more video. So today we'll be looking into a company called Harman Technology, and today we have Imran. Uh, he is my best mate and also a good friend. He will he'll be giving a complete insight about the uh, Harman hiring procedure and also uh, the number of rounds uh, in the Harman hiring procedure. And later he'll be giving a complete insight about its role and responsibility as well as he'll be giving a talk regarding the internship. And uh, without wasting much time, let's start the talk. And uh, guys, before starting the talk, I would like to say that uh, we have a Telegram community group. If you're not yet seen uh, or join the Telegram community group, uh, just click on uh, the link which is provided in the description. Just be part of that and uh, make use of the Telegram community. And this is about our Telegram community. And uh, let's start the talk. Uh, hi, Imran. How are you? Excellent. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Uh, we are doing good, Imran. We are doing good. So, Imran, firstly, congratulations to you for being tested at uh, Harman Technology. Thank you, thank you, and thanks for inviting me here to speak about my experience. Thank you. Pleasure, buddy. Pleasure. So, Imran, nothing, man. For me and for audience, just give a small insight about what is Harman hiring procedure is. Just give a small talk on that. What is? Okay. Uh, we applied Harman in uh, through Co Cubes. Uh, later, we, later after a week or so, uh, we had an uh, exam in. Uh, Elitmus platform. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then after short listing, uh, we'll be having a technical interview. Okay. So the exam pattern was only MCQs, mm -hmm. okay. and uh, it was mostly coding MCQs and a uh, few theory questions as well. Mm -hmm. So questions were from C plus plus and Java and .NET. Okay. Uh, so each section was of twenty to twenty five questions. Mm -hmm and there was no navigation so okay. we have to uh, complete this answer and we can come back mm -hmm. to that question okay so i i got shortlisted fortunately okay. and here i am so basically like as you mentioned that the uh, first round will be assessment round right uh, yeah yeah, yeah. So how are the questions is it just the mcq kind of questions or any coding questions uh, it was a coding mcq so like uh, they'll be giving a code to you and uh, we should be uh, picking a output from the given options. Okay. But it was mostly like those questions, mm -hmm. and a uh, few of theory theoretical questions. Few right. were theoretical questions also. So yeah. lo logical reasoning kind of questions. No, no, no. Only technical questions. Technical. Okay. Only is there no any, aptitude. Got it. Is there any pseudocode uh, kind of question? Uh, yeah, there were a couple of pseudocode, but most like like I said, mostly there were only coding questions. Coding like uh, major. Yeah. Some C and C plus major focus was given on technical MCQ kind of yeah 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 got it so uh, after completion of your tech uh, assessment like what was the time taken to get uh, the assessment results well i got my results within two to three days max okay. uh, seeing that i have shortlisted for further rounds okay then i got mail from H harman hr that uh, have interview in two days okay uh, well i have attended the technical interview okay uh, there was only a technical interview i mean uh, he uh, he asked me HR questions in okay. uh, technical interview itself, okay. so it was one, another HR role. Okay, okay. So like uh, in PR, it was like combination of PR plus HR. Yeah, it's a combination of HR and PR. So like coming to TR, basically, like what are the questions you face from panelists? Any talk on that? Well, uh, first he asked me about myself okay. and my educational background, my family, and etc. My hobbies. Okay. Uh, then he jumped into technical questions. Uh, they were they were mostly about C and C plus okay. plus. Uh, he was uh, he asked me questions like difference between C and C plus okay. plus and uh, class and object, which concepts like polymorphism and its types, abstraction, uh, operator overloading, okay. virtual function, etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these were the few questions. Okay. And he also asked me one particular question which I remember okay. precisely. Uh, he said there are multiple programming languages today, right? Mm -hmm. So why why do we use multiple programming languages? Why can't we use a single programming language for everything? Okay. So that was a particular question he asked me. I remember it. So sorry to bother you. Like, what was your response to that question? No, I I said like uh, each uh, programming language will have its own uh, pros and cons. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, for, for example, if you use C plus plus, it will be used for like software or gaming. Yeah. And if you use Java, it will be like for app development and something. Yeah. So each has its own uh, features and own uh, limitations. So yeah. based on those, based on our requirements, we should choose our own program language. Got so it. he was satisfied with that. It was like a pretty much a satisfying questions. Answer. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> so yeah, guys, like. Uh, 
So apart from these posts and like any questions regarding like situation based questions like any such kind of uh, questions you did you expect from the panel? Uh, yeah, I got a situation based like then uh, I mean practical type not a technical one. Yeah. Uh, he asked me like uh, if your friend calls you and tells that he got a snake bite so how would you help him through a phone uh-huh, okay so through a phone call how would you help uh, i said like i would call ambulance i would tell him to stop somewhere and look around if there are people uh-huh. then ask them help and if if i I'll, i'll find his location and i'll ask his location first yeah. then i'll be sending his ambulance and i'll be saying some basic things like Yeah. uh tying a cloth about its uh the bitten part so that the venom doesn't go to your heart so yeah. things like this and uh, yeah it was he was satisfied yeah, questions, oh, okay. questions might be surprising but uh, they are just checking like how we going to react to that particular yeah 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 it was a simple question but he just wanted to see how i would yeah. react that's it oh imran got it so any questions uh, regarding your project any talk on that Oh uh, yeah he asked me about my internship uh, i told about that and uh, he also asked about major project which we didn't do i said about mini project mm-hmm. and he said it's okay okay got it got it so yeah i mean we are done with our assessment the tr as well as tr so we'll come to its uh, role and responsibility so any talk yeah. about that your role uh, your well, package uh, my role will be associate software engineer uh, i'd be working in automotive division there are multiple divisions in harman okay mm-hmm. uh, so i'll be working in automotive division it has mostly about connected cars infotainment uh, speakers embedded systems etc okay. got like uh, any talk on its package as well as bond dimra uh it's ctc spylax okay. and uh, it has a joining bonus of 50000 and there is no particular moment we we just have a notice period of 90 90 days that's fine okay got it yeah so any talk on its internship uh, imran uh there is no internship actually uh, we are we are uh, as of now full time employees from now itself okay mm-hmm. and uh, uh, we'll be getting full time salary also okay. as well but we will be having a training of 8 weeks okay. uh, in which 4 weeks will be general and then after 4 weeks we'll be having technical okay. uh training based on our assessment uh, marks they'll be giving us they'll be dividing us further into projects and all acha got it like based upon mm-hmm. your performance on the assessment uh, they'll be dividing into a different domain right yeah 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 got it. so yeah imran we are done with our everything uh, we have covered uh, the technical round as well as the hiring procedure and uh, the role and responsibility as well as the internship uh, last but not the least uh, any suggestions to audience uh, anyone well i'll suggest them to just work on their basic technical skills mm-hmm. as well as focus on their communication skills as well and uh, well uh, clearing uh, as exam was a bit harder than clearing interview so <laughs> i'll suggest them to work on that mm-hmm. and also be confident while speaking in interview if you just don't know just tell them don't know and uh, if you can ask like if you can repeat the question you can ask them uh, he they were uh, like no recruitment team more uh, much uh, you know simple and easy so you can ask them mm-hmm. uh, questions they are I mean if you couldn't understand the question so what is not that guys uh, just uh, you know like just try to focus on your cv uh, because you know like what you mentioned in cv based upon that only questions may fit questions may yeah yeah yeah, and, yeah. Uh, this is a small uh, line our cv yeah. you just have to keep it simple and uh, like you know uh, which are you are comfortable in the programming language or projects Yeah, I'm right. I completely agree with him, Brian. Yeah. So yeah, guys, uh, this is all about today's talk. And if you're not yet seen our today's video, just click on our link and just go and uh, have a look into that. And as I mentioned in the earlier, we also have a Telegram uh, Telegram community group. You can be part of that. Uh, link will be provided in the description. And if you want to contact me, you can make use of uh, my Insta Insta ID, and uh, I will be providing my mail ID too. You can uh, get touch with in that manner. And if you have any questions, you can make use of uh, YouTube comment section. So I'll be I will be answering them. And Imran, thank you, man, for taking time and joining us, uh, giving you yeah, a valuable nice. input. Pleasure to be here. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, guys, this is all about today's talk. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.